how about some Boom Beach? <laughs> Let's go here. This is a, again, uh, this is a, I have two accounts. This is my main account. Start with this one. As you can see, it's pretty much developed. I've been here for a while. Try one of this, try this one. This is somebody else's base. Try to knock out the more damaging weapons first. At least damage, you know, damage them so they won't be too much of a threat later. Just about, you know, timing everything and um, making sure you have enough strength to use your your weapons. <laughs> everything is t is time. You can't just go ahead and go in and just start shooting. Especially when the base has so so many structures. So dangerous. Okay, that one out. There we go. Whew. Whew. <laughs> Boom Beach. Alrighty. That was a tough one. Take care of my troops. Get them back up. Sometimes I just use infantry because you, you get more troops, even though they're a little bit on the more weaker, but get so many of them that it compensates for their weakness but lately I've been adding a few other troops to help out my attacks got a lot of upgrading to do <laughs> I'm taking it one one step at a time let's see here okay go back and It's all about the it's all about the resources. The gold and wood, stone, iron. Statues 
George. That one, <laughs> I don't think that many people like that one. Like some diamonds here. This is the map it shows you what bases are available to hit. Of course, if you you take over a base, you collect more, more loot, more resources. Dr. T, this is a pretty good. They when they introduced it, it's a pretty good way of getting extra resources. It starts with the lower, the lowest level, stage one. About the easiest level, and then it just goes up from there. <laughs> I think I about level three is probably as far as I get on these. Pretty tough after that. This is a nice way of getting some extra loot, extra resources. I also can test, you know, test your strategy, test your weapons. These lower levels are pretty easy. Gold store, gems, that blue little thing at the, the last one on the, on the far right, that's uh, Intel they call it. <laughs> Helps with uh, multiplayer games. Talk about that later. A lot of Dr. T's and <laughs> a lot of people coming in to visit, but nobody, nobody's attacking. Some home base. When I, one time I was debate, um, invaded and defend, uh, defended, but I didn't have um, I didn't have the availability, the capability of recording my gameplay at, at that time. So, case okay, so Rasa we have it. We have the capability now, <laughs> so I can save some of this and share it with everyone. scout and then before you decide to attack you can take a look at it plan your attack before actually attacking these are you know these are computer the game generated bases but you you know as, as like the first one you can hit other other players in their base more of a challenge of course As you destroy each base, you get a little bit more might. And as you just hit each base or, or damage each base, you, da you also damage the headquarters. But it definitely isn't as easy as it seems, I tell you. <laughs> Played this game enough times to know. back up. So it's a nice layout. Do it in have my defenses in layers. So no matter where the invading 
army where they come in there's always some uh, defensive uh, gun or weapon hitting them and some flanking cannons mines so I'll upgrade one at a time <laughs> no you can only upgrade one at a time anyway Upgrade my stone storage. It takes up a lot of resources. Wood storage. I have two wood storages. I I do. You need uh the troops are ready. space. Okay, let's see what else. Go around, stop those. Outflank the enemy, that's, that's the name of the game. Have some troops go one way and some troops go another way. Get everybody else in it now. Give them some protection. Get close enough, they have a, a dead zone to the mortars. You get close enough, they won't hit you. What's that? Train more troops. More loot. More resources. Of course, just like my other other games, I have um, two accounts. Like I said, so this is my main account. I have a. Second account, my mini account. <laughs> I have a task force as well, so I share my other account with uh, inside the, within the task force. So 
use our task force. Take a look at my mini account. Everything is stud muffin. <laughs> There's a little stud muffin and stud muffin. So it's just like it's just starting. Slowly but surely. Switch, switch leadership positions. I'm, I had my my internet service was down, so I'm transitioning to another service. And I have another email, so I have to incorporate the new email into my to my uh, accounts. Some uh, scores. So again, just like every other my other games, just you know, show you the, I guess the major, you know, the major major gameplay, you know, tagging and and defending and base building and all that. And try to go into the other area, aspects of the game. You have a submarine. You have. Um, you have radar where you can clear more area, attack more area. It's just, it's not as, it's not as detailed or deep as Castle Clash, but it, you know, it's, it's entertaining enough. And I started this one when I was, I, was, I, I used to play Farmville and Cafe, whatever that other one. <laughs> I didn't stay long with that, so these other games started coming out with Super Supercell and IGG, more more combat oriented gameplay. Me being former military, former Marine, got my these games. These games are more to my liking. Get there, little paddle feet. You get close enough. <laughs> Okay, this is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.